Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab. And after a very long time of not recording, I'm back with another post back. So as you can see, the stack uh, grew quite uh, substantially. That was due to my uh, holiday. I was in Scotland in Edinburgh for, uh, for a week. So I enjoyed it really, uh, really well there. But there are a few packages we need to open. So uh, let's start with the bottom one. I think this came from from uh, France, and this is the uh, new 3D uh, filament spool that I ordered. Still PLA, so, but this time uh, from another seller because the uh, seller I uh, I'm used to buying this from. Uh, didn't have any stock and I choose white this time because uh, of the uh, environment outside uh, some of my prints end up being used uh, outside in the weather uh, exposed to all the goodness of the uh, the elements and yeah you don't want black filament as it will melt and I've experienced it uh, a few times that uh, it melted, so white filament uh, is the way to go then. So there's nothing more in the box. So I'm curious what the quality of this uh, this filament will be. Uh, but I'm not sure what I'm going to print. Well, I've got an idea, and maybe I can do this, do that idea in this uh, mail bag. But I'm not sure. So description of content: cleaning sponge. All right, I'm guessing that I know what this is. Yes, these are sponges for my uh, soldering iron. I uh, ran out of uh, sponges and I ordered 10. I think it was like one euro or something. So, very useful. And the next one, it doesn't show anything. So I guess we'll just open it. Very tiny, actually. Uh, oh, that's really tiny. Ah, yeah, this is uh, for one of my uh, upcoming projects that I haven't told you about. Uh, this is a energy harvester module, uh, MPPT, uh, solar uh, tracking uh, thing solar panel tracking and charger so you can connect your uh, lithium ion battery straight to uh, to the battery terminals and this will manage everything including cut off and all those uh, things and it even contains a 5.5 uh, volt capacitor on the back and I think that's used to um, supply the chip with uh, with power when the solar pan panel power drops so you can still uh, so it can still manage uh, everything and the page said it uh, is capable of uh, harvesting at very low voltages so I'm curious um, in combination with the white PLA filament I'm planning to build a uh, outdoor sensor set so humidity, temperature, maybe uh, air quality and all those things. Um, of course, solar powered. So, very nice to have a solar panel harvester laying around for a solar panel project. On to the next one. This also doesn't show anything. So, oh, is... Ah! And with a solar power harvester comes a solar panel. Now this is a, uh, a 5 volt solar panel. I'm not sure how many watts, but I don't think it will be much. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use that in combination with this little guy to power, to hopefully power the, uh, the sensors. So, next one. Circuit board cleaning sponge soldering wick. Alright, 
Nice. Ooh. Wait, did I already order them? Oh well. No, they're soldering sponges. Ten pieces. Ah. Yeah, the, the regular ESP8266 uh, restock. And three soldering wicks. Because I run out of them. Nice. It shows phone screen protectors. Well, this is a very large packet for a phone screen protector if this is your phone, but okay. I'm glad they packaged it well. Lots of foam, I think. Or well, I hope. Yeah, I, oh, I ordered um, a new phone protector. Uh, for my, oh, it's a little bit bent, but I hope it's just the uh, the package. I ordered two, one plus seven. No, I don't have the one plus seven, but I think one plus seven and one plus sixty is uh, the same. Uh, and I ordered two uh, rear camera uh, tempered glass uh, protectors. So let's apply those. Um, to my camera. Because you know it's my camera's exposed to the elements all the time. So yeah. It should be strong, but you know, should be. Everything should be strong. All right, so that's one out of the box. Dust absorber. Used to clean the dust off the screen. What's the guide sticker? Oh well. I need the dust absorber. Come on, yeah, there you go. And just a sticker to remove any thing from the lens. Like that. And grab the protection piece hey ah. it's sticking to the silicon come on there you go now how am I going to do this I guess just like this. Oh. This looks about right. How on earth is this going to... Oh. I'm not sure if this is good or bad since I touched it. Hmm. 
I actually don't see uh, a difference. Oh yeah. It's a bit... Uh... Yeah, that's it. This one sucks. Alright, so that's why we've got uh, the second one. So, again. Get this. Now, it's strange because the top side of this thing is sticky. Or well, maybe that's what the guide sticker is for. So put it like this or something. Let's see. No. Oh, I think this one sits better. Let me give it a little whoosh with my heat gun. Like that. All right, cool, nice. Microfiber towel. And wipe it clean. Oh yeah, this looks good. This looks really good. So now my... Uh, Camera lens is protected. Let's check the quality. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's uh, the quality is good. All right, so. Let me go only one plus seven. Yeah. Look, same uh, screen uh, size. So now the problem is that I uh, I have uh, the original. One plus screen protector on here, but as you can see in the corner over here, it shattered. And the first time it shattered was around here, and now it just shattered. Um, and this screen protector costs 20 euros, and these two cost 350. You do the math, you know. I'm a little bit fed up with one plus about this, so I'm still going to send them an email. That I um, I want the compensation or I want my money back uh, because this screen protector is just rubbish. So I'm going to install this one and hopefully 
this, uh, this works. Now this is also tempered glass, this is also tempered glass. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Something to put my phone on. Now they recommend that you uh, actually um, put the phone in the cover, in the case, to help you guide the screen protector in place. And I think the first thing that I notice is that, can I just pull this out, please? It's shattered. And I think the bezel is also, yeah. Uh, the bezel is also a little bit smaller, so uh, this is yeah, not good, but now we can see how this works. I need to pull this off and then this, yeah, this, this sticks. Okay, nice. So, shadow screen protector. Let's see if this one looks a bit better. I still want those cleaning things, however. I hope it does, otherwise I have to send a message to the seller. Nope, also broken. Yeah, I think this is what you get when you order screen protectors from China. So I'm just going to leave these two on there. To leave my original on there because yeah it ain't worth it to uh, put this on the phone right so let me create a photo of oh yeah i turned the phone off of this or a video look this is just a giant crack and also here so this ain't going on my phone I already had doubts when the package arrived like this. Look, it's, it's completely bent. A delicate silicon touch. Well, I must say. It feels okay, I think. All right. Let me take some pictures. Cool. So that's done. And I think that this was the, the mail bag. Maybe I'm going to give the solar panel a small try. So we can see if it, uh, if it actually works. And also the sponge. The sponge. This is also, this is the, oh, I need to clean this up first. This is the most satisfying part of a new soldering sponge. And you almost, you almost buy new soldering sponges for this exact moment because it's, it's so satisfying and I think every solderer that's watching this video knows what I'm talking about the moment when you put the sponge in and you pour water on it that's so satisfying so place it in the middle take it Good look, guys. How much it expense? Oh, cool, nice. It doesn't completely fit, but it fits uh, good enough, I think. So let's turn it on. And solder 
a few connectors to this board. And then to the solar panel. Oh, I think these, these don't know. Oh shit, these don't fit. That's a shame. These two don't really fit. Maybe no, they're they're too wide. Mm. So I guess it's header time then. Not sure if headers fit. Nope, they also don't fit. They kind of fit these connectors. So if I, oh, I need to do it like this. If I put some force in them, they do fit. Nice. Get three. Or I can just solder some header pins to it. I think I'll go for that one, otherwise I have to crimp a connector. Yeah, that's better. Alright, so, soldering iron is up to temperature. For a second, yeah, I'm oh, mess with the wires. On focus, I'm here. I'm here. Hello, please. Would you mind focusing? Are you going to focus now? No. Come on. There you go. Now don't get out of focus. No. Oh, you just did get out of focus. Never put it on manual focus. like this. So, put the fan on and solar G. Oh wow, it's nice and shiny. Out. We need six,
work. This is working. working quite well actually Ooh. still in there all right so uh, they are not the straightest but I mean there are pins so we can connect things to them which is nice Right, so solar panel Need to connect two wires to it. Right. Should be okay. Pretin it. Is there another isn't? So, no, I'm not happy with that one. Ooh. That's hot. That's really hot. Okay. Now, do the ends. A little bit too much solder on here. Okay, nice. Do we have a do have a battery that we can connect? We only need to solder a few wires to it. To be precise, we need to solder six more wires. 
so. Now this battery is fully charged, I think. So it shouldn't give any uh, problems regarding the battery voltage, hopefully. Now the solar panel that you should connect to the energy harvester uh, is limited to I think it was 6 volts so not a lot of voltage and not a lot of current actually so that's a bit of a bummer also not a lot of charging current but you should be able to run an ESP8266 on it I think and that's exactly what we are going to try. So input. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. No. Input like this. Input. And this is the most MacGyver kind of botch, but hey, if it works, hmm. it removes the solder from my tip very good. That's uh, very nice uh, feature of the soldering clean sponge. Nice. There isn't any LED on there, which is a good thing. Um, battery minus. Let's open this one. Positive on two here. Cool, so let me grab a, um, no actually, should we test it with an LED? Yeah, let's do that. Now I don't think that we need a current limiting resistor, and if we do, I am about to die one of my, about to kill one of my LEDs. 
so let's see okay nothing happens turn it around and nothing happens again okay Uh, let's grab the millimeter. Uh, there isn't much on there. Maybe. No. Check what the voltages are here. It is getting uh, power, but the output's just zero. Maybe because we. And there goes the windmill. Maybe because uh, we need to enable it somehow. I thought it was self-sustaining. Maybe if we put it in the light, that's always a good thing to put it in light. Check what the output voltage is now. And the voltage of the panel, 300 millivolts. That isn't much. Almost a half a volt. Okay, okay. So why aren't you powering up then? Is my question. Alright, so it was giving me a voltage on the VP uh, pin, or the VOK, I'm not sure what it's called. And let's check if we've got that voltage over here as well. VOK, yeah. VOK is um, 4 volts. Yeah, sorry, they're playing around with their uh, with their scooters. Sometimes they're behaving like nine year old. So yeah, so the solar power energy harvesting module, I think it's working. Uh, I need to dive into how I uh, need to control it and how I need to get the energy from it. Because uh, right now, it's not giving me uh, any energy. Maybe I need to bridge the uh, EN and VEN. To get a higher output, because the, uh, the current output is 2.5 volts. And I think if I connect an LED to it, it almost immediately drops down because of the capacitor discharging. Let me put it in load mode. Let's check. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's dropping now. 
because I'm loading it with my mounting meter. Need to stay connected, there you go. And I think it's charging back up now. Oh, not yet. Maybe because the panel doesn't get enough light. Alright, so I'm uh, still going to look into this. Uh, and hope that I can power an ESP8266 from it. Um, and I'll keep you updated on that. So, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is the first video of the new uh, content coming soon. Um, so let me know what you think of it. And let me know if I should continue these projects or not. So, thanks for watching and I hope to see you around in my next video. Bye! Thanks for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.